Hello, Virgos and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your October read for this current year. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I actually just made a friend um, tonight, right before I got home. I actually, like, uploaded that for a minute. I had to change my theme and bother because it's gross stuff. There she is. I think you're she, right? Yeah, you're she. This is her. I don't know what to name her yet. I gotta figure out something for you because you're really not that big. I'm serious. No, 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 This is a sacred space. Okay? This is a sacred space. Please don't be wild. I am begging you. Hmm? You're cute. It's kind of cool to get kitty right before it becomes October, though. I'm glad I chill with that, but that's awesome. Anyway, Virgos and Cross Watchers, this is for your signs in the position Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Jupiter, and Mars. Please check your chart if this resonates with you. Cool. If not, you boop that goddamn nose. Let me boop your nose. Okay, she's not gonna boop. Let me, like, I'll boop your nose, but you boop this nose, and away it goes. Don't worry about it, bros. Don't come at me either, because I have no idea. And Lord no, like, if, if my brain is working correctly, I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least. I'm going to say at least five motherfuckers are going to come in at some point and start saying some shit to me. And I don't know when it's going to happen. I know it's going to be while I'm gone. Or some shit. I don't even know. You don't know that, that I'm going to, that I already know this shit though. But that's the good thing about me. Yeah. You know, I have to say in order to believe, I just like believing in myself. And you should too. Always believe in yourself, Virgos and Cross Watchers. Because uh, uh, like, sometimes you have a tendency to not. And then you want to panic. <coughs> and then you want to go run to a Sagittarius for advice. Like, that's. Don't do that. Well, I shouldn't even say that because I have Sag rising, but I'm a Capricorn. So I somewhat, I'm just really happy, that's all. Anyway, I'm a, which one did I use? Did I use the, the witch's oracle for, I must have. I'm saying I did for Caps and Cross. I think I already pulled the cards last time though, but I didn't with yours, because I just got home. I just took a shower. I feel beautiful. It's getting silky. I finally went to my doc and got some cortisone cream. For my chest, my eyes, and my arm, everything's clearing up. Finally, eventually, they're gonna start doing some procedures on me, so I, I, I'm not as pale as I've been. Honestly, I was scared because I thought I was gonna turn yellow because of my gallbladder. Because jaundice is a really big deal uh, once your gallbladder goes to shit, and then it starts affecting your liver and your pancreas, and it's just like, uh, thank God, thank goodness I quit drinking though. But then again, it, it like, well, yeah, it's actually a really good thing. Because it probably would have been way worse if I did Well, I don't drink as much as I used to. Like, I think the last I had was... Early June! I, I don't, yeah, early June, I think, is the last time I had a drink. And I didn't even have much, thank God. Because, like, oh my God. Because it was, like, at the end of the month when it started fucking up. And that's, like, no. Nah. But anyway, let me get to your reading, because, like, I don't know. I feel like someone's going to, like, it'd be like, you talk too much. And then, I didn't ask you. You know? <laughs> anyway. Oh, you got the black cut. Virgos and Cross Watchers. There's a curious journey into the depths of the unknown, hidden so deep that only the brave will gracefully return in, with light in their eyes and shadow leading home. Kind of like a little one. Where you go? Why is it quiet all of a sudden in my house? Give me two seconds, Virgos and Cross Watchers. I need to check this cat. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. But I found my monster. I just need to make sure the fat man won't hurt her. Because, like, she's brand fucking new. And he's doing the whole... I'm watching her from a distance. He's, I, I don't think he's going to do anything unless she does something to him. Because he, know, he knows how to deal with kittens. 
but he's an old cranky man. <laughs> you know, what number are you? Seven, straight forward, upper hand victory. So if you have a cat, my help. If you have two cats, may they always play and never like <laughs> at each other. I'm only drinking this because I don't have regular coffee, but I can't drink it too much because of all the sugar and stuff in it. Because I have to have sugar-free everything right now. Cause it's like, mm. But then again, it's actually not that bad. I just learned that a lot of stuff tastes better without sugar. Like, I've been mixing, like, coffee and sugar-free maple syrup in my stuff, and it actually tastes way better. Like, it's got the sweetness and everything. And I was surprised that it worked. And then I found out people do that anyway, so it's just like, oh, okay. And then I, 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 like, I went back to sugar, and I was like, <laughs> and shit like that, right? Anyway, back to the ring. Number five, number six, number seven. Hello, cat with nine lives. Are you the cat? Oh, you're the kitty. Good for you. Cats are graceful creatures rivaling the snobbiness of hu the snobbiest of humans. Truth. They are fiercely independent and value their time and space above all things. Except that one. I don't even know what she is. She looks like a mix between a tabby and a calico, honestly. Especially with all their markings, but half her face is orange, so it's just like... Who the fuck are your parents? Because I can tell exactly that you're like by kitty or whatever the fuck the terminology is. Anyway. They are aloof yet love affection and put their health and well-being above all other things. Cats are also mysterious. They are symbols of empowerment and setting boundaries. Two qualities every witch needs to be successful in her craft. No wonder cats are favorite among witch familiars. When a black cat comes purring into your reading, you are being asked to find your independence. Grab some me time so that you can find your footing again. It is easy to get lost in the chaos when you have a lot of going on. Or a lot of things going on, anyway. Uh, taking a step back to see the bigger picture is the best way to get some fresh ideas about where to go next. How to solve a problem or how to get out of a funk. Remember, me time doesn't have to be dramatic. Having a 20-minute coffee break at your local coffee shop, that's never enough time, uh, can be just as rewarding as an all-day staycation. See, there we go. I want to do something where I don't want to do a goddamn thing all day except what I want to do. Or just chill in bed and watch, like, random movies that just pop up on YouTube. I found, like, the Phantom Toll booth yesterday. I was absolutely enthralled. I was like, where was this in my childhood? Because this is definitely teaching me I need to do more in my life. <laughs> it was just like, oh, they, they got you lazy, but you gotta think. You gotta think. And I was like, yeah, I gotta think. I like you. You're cool, doggy. This is why dogs are cool. Cats are fucking outstanding, but dogs are pretty fucking cool. I've never met a dog I didn't like. You know? Very rarely. Uh, let's see. When it comes to me time, choose quality over quantity. Always. Black cat asks you to learn the power of say no! Oh, hi, baby. Are you coming to help mommy with the reading? Is she driving you nuts already? I'm sorry. To be fair, she did follow me home. Why is your butt in the air? <laughs> Here's my needle, man. Put your butt down. Well, why are you going to try to bite me if you ain't going to put your butt down? That makes me nervous. Hmm? We all have to set boundaries and rules. We can't expect others to know what it is okay and not okay without some guidance. Nor can we expect others to know when we have too much on our plate. It's okay to say no. This isn't a selfish act, and it doesn't mean you don't care. It's a sign of self-respect and will help. In the long term, those in your immediate circle. You cannot give what you do not have. Something to keep in mind, Virgos and Cross Watchers, because I think you're forgetting about yourselves. I also think I'm a little bit too distracted, but that's okay. And you, man. I, you need to let me, like, get you. You're becoming a solid mass again. That's not good. I don't care if you don't like it. I will feed you two Benadryls and, and like, get that. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will. Honestly, Benadryl will probably help you. 
Because you're getting an allergy, allergic reaction, too. Now think about it. He has allergies, too. And when he does, his fur starts getting little lumps in it. It's just like, I don't want those getting any worse for him. I don't remember what happened last time. It was bad. Anyway, let's see. Someone doesn't have any money, and that's what's got him in a bad attitude. <laughs> what the fuck? How we started out with someone being broke and emotionally irritable? So because they're broke, they all, they have sour patch kid energy. Just be like, I don't want to do anything. You tell me to do, 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 like a fucking teenager. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Uh, there's conflict here, but that's because someone's lying about the conflict, or there's a lie. Like there's something that they're angry at. What are you eating? There's something that they're... A lot of people want to fight somebody, but it's based on whoever is broke's lies. It's like they lie and they're emotional about it. If you bring it up, fuck the baby, it's like every fucking time. This is like, Virgo, you don't have to participate in this. I have to tell you, you don't have to. That's what I'm ultimately getting here. Mmm. Ten of Cups, all this happiness, but, like, why is someone being a snoop, a spy, and making gossipy things about it? But someone manifested this fucked up situation. Huh. What's the bullshit with all of this, Virgos and Girls Watch? Get on with it. Who the fuck is saying that shit? Because I'll fuck around for another, like, 20 minutes. I don't give a damn. I do this shit for free. Rich, but they can't pay a bill. I mean, what kind of bill? Is this a contract? God, like, how are they rich if that's what they're upset about? Or are they having people fight over money while pretending that they don't have any? I'm not sure. We are the weirdos, mister. Oh, that's nice. They named their da 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 after their ex, and now they ex success, but now they want to change it. Allegedly. Mirror, mirror on the wall, how will I fall? Well, be careful what you wish for, because it just might come true. So someone was just asking for it. Okay. Pajama pants and llamas. I dream a dream of time gone by. But what are you talking about? What dream do they mean? Oh, the one about spiritual warfare starter kits. That's, that's... Just to rip off the wings of a butterfly? This is jumping the shark. And they were tossed salad taster like ass. I'm not cheating, I'm straight. Okay, what the fuck is wrong with this person? This is, whoever you're dealing with, you can say no. Straight up, just say no. Say no. Just say no. Like, dare, but it's actually effective and, it'll, and it's good for you. It's not going to be something that, like, like, do you know how ineffective dare was? Let me go on, like, rambling, because apparently someone's going to be bothered with the rambling, but that, but that's not my problem. Let me, like, tell you something about Dare. Dare taught kids about drugs, and that got them to do drugs, because there was no interpersonal experience in it. You know, it would have been one thing if it was, like, Mr. Mackey passing around a joint and then telling kids not to do drugs. That's another thing to tell kids don't do drugs because it's bad for you, and then expecting their teenager brain not to think to do something authority told me not to do. What's the worst that could happen? That's basically what the mentality was. My entire generation of people got immediately hooked on drugs. Because, uh, the system, society, decided that they were so dangerous that they'd rather keep us away from it and expect us just to listen instead of just letting us fuck with it and learn the hard way not to do drugs. Or better yet, just tell us what exactly the drugs can do to you for realsies. You remember all those ads on television where it was like the dude was running and the cop isn't actually running, but he's just on one of those slider things and he just magically reaches out like the hand of God and all that. And it's just like, what the fuck is that? That doesn't tell me what drugs do to my body. That doesn't tell me why the cop's chasing me. The cop will chase me if I walk away from him without giving him my ID. And then he can just plant drugs on me. You know what I mean? It's one of those. Virgo, are you a cop catching someone and mean on the slider thing? I don't know. But it's just like, Jesus Christ, let's get on with this reading. Let's see. So why is someone 
so broke that they're miserable. That seems like what's going on in the past situation here. Virgos and cross watchers for October. Someone don't got money and they're all unhappy and emotionally mean and whatever. I, I, I don't know why people are becoming mean all of a sudden. People are really fucking mean to each other anymore. I noticed. Like, you know, Earth signs. Of course, we're just mean by nature, but that's our default. We don't try to be like, it's not like we aren't good friends. We're just not friendly. You're more friendly than, than my Capricorn ass, okay? So you are much more of a social butterfly than I'll ever be, Virgos and Cross Watchers. But some people are just downright mean. Mean, you know? And it seems like they're getting worse and worse. And it's like... But people think it's a race war, okay. No, it's not. But let's pretend that that's... Mm. They're heartbroken, and they seem like they are still not over it. They're trying, though, but it, but it lingers in their heart. Whoa! <laughs> what? 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 So, straight up went up to whoever this was. Could be you, Virgo. Could be them. Take your pick. They had a volcano of rage. They were ready. They were like, come get some, motherfucker. Like, that, like someone was done with someone's bullshit is what this is, Virgos and Cross Watchers. What the fuck is this? Someone straight up ready. And the other person on this side, he's broke, emotionally hurt. Could be water sign for sure. Uh, not, Vir not you, Virgo. I mean, like, it could be you. Um, but, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. I don't know, but whoever is in the blue and green going after the red and white, they are ready. They are ready for it. Like, I said, yeah. Like, straight up. Oh, well, I'm not getting away with this shit. You goddamn right you ain't getting away with that shit, motherfucker. They're, ch they're following you down the road. Skipping, right? <laughs> Someone's skipping to the fight. Someone's skipping to a fight. That's a dangerous motherfucker. If you ever see someone getting ready to fight and they're skipping, they love that shit. They love, you better, if you're not a fighter, you better fucking run. Because if someone's skipping, that means they've been waiting to fight someone. And and that, and you're the reason. Good. That's, that's what, that, that is that. That's what that is. Someone's skipping to a fight. And I think that I'm making that your fucking title. We're just cross watchers. Jesus fucking Christ. Someone is not getting away from this either. Someone's just like, ah, 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 you came to this volcano, you come here and taste the lava. Get your butt on, son. I want to see that rocky road shit. Like, I don't know. Mm. My, my, my. And now they're, now whoever it is that's hurt by this shit, they're just sitting there waiting for nothing. I don't, I don't know if they think that you're going to come back or something. Kind of dull. Kind of dull. Kind of bored. But I'm here the conflict. Was it what grounds us objectively? What everybody knows? A power in the head. Knowledge. 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 Someone was a liar. I guess it was whoever it was that entered into this family setting. Because I feel like they entered into the family setting. But they didn't want to come in and like spy and gossip and talk shit about it. Oh yeah, look at this fucking idiot. Like, I'm just waiting to harvest my corn. For what? This isn't even corn. It's coin. You can't even pronounce the word. Like, who the f I ain't gonna blame you if you curse someone out, Virgo. I just don't see you doing it as harshly as I would. But you probably will after you get sick of the lies. You know, if it don't make sense to you, Virgo, it don't make sense, period. That's how you, that's how you pretty much is. And you walk the fuck away, yeah, pretty much. What the fuck are they trying to get out of you? Uh-uh. Oh. At first it was like this, like, I'm not even gonna bother, and then it flipped up to this, be like, I am open and ready. I'll leave it like that, since that's how they want to be. They just be like, I still love you and miss you. They, like, do you even care, Virgos and Crosswatchers? 
Do you? Are you dealing with a Pisces or some shit? I feel like Pisces for some reason. Or maybe you're having a conversation with the Pisces, or you got Pisces in your chart, but I feel more Pisces than Scorpio and Cancer. Which, that would be bad, because that's your, what, that's your polar opposite, Pisces, right? Which, I can't see that going very well, honestly. You know, not that I have anything against Pisces, it's just there are certain Pisces that make me sit there and look at them, right? Because, like, I don't know if it's because I'm one of those people who they really can't read very well. And that's why sometimes they have a th like out like a lot of Pisces I've dealt with like are cool, but there have been Pisces where it's like nah, 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 nah. They're, they're, like you got some underneath the surface. I don't know what it is, but it's there. And I'm not sure, but it's just like sometimes like a Pisces will just preemptively judge people. And I know like people like saying they're not judgmental and shit. They are. They're, they're more judgmental than you, Virgos and Crosswatchers. They really are. Because it seems like... Some of them can be real bullies, you know? Like, they'll read people emotionally, and they'll use that to their advantage to just have, like, a step up. Like, I knew a Pisces. Her name was Kayla, but she spelled it all fucked up. Because I guess it was cute like that or some shit. Which is weird, because a lot of Pisces, their names are always spelled really awkward. Somehow. All of them. Never the standard, either. But it was like, um... What was it? She was an absolute bully. She was a nurse. And she went to go be... I think she went to go work at a certain hospital, but I'm not sure. But, like, the first time I met this bitch, like, she was just saying all sorts of shit. One time she accused me of eating a sandwich, which made no sense. Like, she said the sandwich was there at, like, 10.30. I was just like... So you're telling me I drove a an hour back? When I live an hour away, just to eat your fucking sandwich, even though I was eating breakfast before I left. Well, we all know it was you. No, actually, we don't, but it seems like you just want someone to blame for shit. Whatever. And then, like, I was off work for, like, a couple months because of her, because she wrote a fucking false report. And then I get back, and, I, and then I find out nobody likes this chick because she was sitting around bullying everybody. She was bullying fucking... LP, well, she was an LPN, I think. But she was bullying RNs, and she was even getting on the nurse. What the fuck? I felt, swore I felt a phone buzz or something just for a second. No, you're right there. You probably farted. That's what it is. But I was like, she was doing all sorts of crazy shit. While I was gone, and then I get back, and it's like everyone hated this bitch. Everyone loved her at first, and then I was gone, and then I come back, and no one could stand her. Like, no one even talked to her. I remember. Last thing I remember her her say was saying, like, uh, this place is corrupt, and I'm going to be the one to expose it. And I remember just looking at her being like, but you're just as corrupt as the rest of them, so what are you going to do except make it more convenient for you? And she looked at me like I was the fucking devil, and I was just like, I'm just putting out what the fuck I, I, I fucking know about you so far. You, like, you don't do anything to really help anybody, and you're kind of a snob. I'm sorry I, I told you the truth about yourself, you know, but, like, as some Pisces are like that. Not all of them. But some Pisces, they can be cruel with what they deem to be kind. Like, they, like some Pisces are just kind to people when they know that they can get something from them. And they're cruel to some people who they know can be emotionally vulnerable. But then again, that's any water sign. Because, like, they can really read people if they want to. And appropriate the emotional response in people. Because normally people go by emotional responses. They don't use logic and reason. Which is why water signs can be kind of dangerous if you get on the wrong side of one. Because they'll do anything to manipulate everybody around them with emotional shit. But all I would do is catch them one time and be like, How did you know that the wig wasn't worn if you weren't the one who stole the credit card and had it ordered to the house? Huh? Like, you know, like, sometimes you do shit like that, and that just fucks them up, because they don't think that far. Uh, but, but, I, but, but, the ones I'm talking about who were, like, bullies and shit, it's because their emotional intelligence is so high, that they don't really think everything through. They just know that, like, hey, if I ever respond this way, other people will respond this way, and blah, blah, blah. And they're usually good at, like, calibrating emotional responses. It's just the simple fact is, like, if you call them out on one thing that you know that they can't really respond to... It kind of fucks up their entire fucking image, you know? Once you catch them in one thing, everything else seems like a fucking lie, I've noticed, you know? Or worse, you let them do whatever the fuck they want for a while. 
And they fucked themselves up, I swear to God. Dude, no, 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 no. They want a love proposal despite the fact that they can go in the ocean and find anybody fucking else. Please tell me you're not dealing with the Pisces, because that'd be annoying as fuck. Like, and I've dated Pisces before. I've dated, like, four. Which, they all have great love. I Like, there's no love like a Pisces. There's really not. Especially when they're trying to torment you and mentally drive you insane. Saying some shit like, I didn't do this illusion. You're the one who created it. I'm just here. I'm, this, none of this is real. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's like sometimes you just look at this like, then why are you here? You know? So, in the future coming sense, Virgos and Cross Watchers, Ten of Cups, with the Page of Swords reverse. There's a happy setting here, and they want to just come in and just fuck it up. Whoever this is. Could definitely be an air sign, too. Like, who all we got? We definitely got water. Aries. A Capricorn. Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Gemini. Libra. Aquarius. I want to make an adventure to you, even though there's a phoenix sitting there being like, I, I'm a brand new love. And this is like, but I want to go that way. I don't know if we're broke up yet. Yes, you goddamn do. You can say no, Virgo. You can say no. Or you don't have to. They still have love for you. They also have a stick. It's not a big stick, but it's a stick. But I don't think this is... I don't think it's... Uh, it's like, if there was supposed to be a resurrection here or a transformation, mm, it's just two dead bodies. Just two dead bodies. Two dead bodies and, 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 and a tower that still stands. I didn't hit the building. It was just them two. They were in a hug. I don't think they want to face this without you, bro. I don't want the other Betty. I want this. Be okay. They don't want another Betty. They want the Betty they already done had. Why are you so obsessed with me? Really want to know. Hmm. Star Man with the World of Rose. Which is interesting. The very first card of the tarot. And the very last card of the tarot. And I was going to see Aries Pisces vibe, which is weird, because it's like, no, that's Capricorn and Aquarius. New Year's shit, you know? It's it's New Year's. That's when they both come in. No, because that's only... Uh, New Year's blogs and Capricorn. Aquarius can say where the fuck they is. I get out our area. You know, something like that. I don't know why I said that, but, it, but like, I want something. I'm just saying, like, Capricorn's the shortest sign, if I remember correctly. I just want to say we're to the 19th. I don't think that's right. Is that? They aren't talking to me. Anyway, let's see what this says. Oh, they're just coming with all the bullshit. Okay. A little bit of Earth. Could be you as well, Virgo. Also, another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Not willing to put in the work. Not willing to learn the skills necessary to actually manifest something. But what they do manifest is bullshit. Apparently, that's all they want to do. Someone's going to escape in the nick of time. Might be you or a Cancer or a Pisces. They intu someone intuitively knows that someone might get away. They probably know you're going to get away. And probably turn their back, your back to them. There's Queen of Coin, Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Definitely you, Virgo. You're just like, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Not today, son. Not today. Hmm. Is that, you could say, no, Virgos and Cross Watchers. You really don't have to participate in this. That's split. I just now felt that. That's definitely split. 
That's almost going all the way back. Hmm. What's your advice, Virgos and Cross Quadrants? Because I feel like you're just ready to curse someone out. Rightfully so, but it's like rage. And this is like, I didn't even know you guys got like this. Maybe the males, but it's like, even then, the males are... Like, there was this one time... What was it? There was this guy who I used to work at at this one hospital. And he lost his shit on me because he thought I opened the wrong box of lettuce. Because there was cases of lettuce. And he brought me in the cooler and be like, You see this? This is the one you open. You look at the date. And I was just like, That's not the box I went into. So which box did you get into? The one with the same date on the bottom? And he looked at it. And then he looked at me. He was just like, Oh, you're a liar. And I was just like, Oh, okay. And then it turns out that, like, I was right. And then he apologized. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, thank you for the apology. Let's see. Then I found out it was some chick who said something about it. And it was just like... The fuck would you listen to her for? Anyway? Well, she's been here forever. I don't give a fuck if she's been here forever. I just got here and there's no reason for you to start that shit. Mm -mm. They want to curse, pe cursing people out, huh? Someone's still stuck on the past. Is particularly the harsh words. Maybe they want to come in gingerly. Water sign once again. Also, fire signs just popped in. Maybe there's no communication. Maybe there's an Aquarius throwing the fit. But they definitely want to reach back out to you. And they will perform until absolute exhaustion, even though people are looking at them like, oh, what did I do? I, 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 I don't, I think you're just gonna, nope, nope. Virgos and cross watchers, don't make this person lose their temper and you respond to them. If you, if you cut contact completely with someone, don't give them the time of day to respond. Because that's really what they want. They just want to see if you get heated and you'll actually say something to them. Because I think that's ultimately what they want. And mind you, I sat here and explained a whole bunch of fucking shit. Um, all of that is very pertinent and important to this point. Which is just, just say no. That's pretty much all it is. Just, just say no. Because it's all no. It's like, I don't know if they got drugs you're into or if you're just addicted to this person in general. But it's like, it's like you're not suffering withdrawals if they're gone. In fact, you probably fucking won't. Anyway, Virgos and Cross Watchers, that was your reading for October of this current year. I'm gonna go to bed. Y'all be safe. Stay suspicious. I love your face. Please say no. Don't not say no. There's no reason for you not to say every, any. If you want to say no, just to like take it a piss. G girl, boy, you, you piss whenever you feel like it. No one's going to stop you, I promise. Anyway, I love y'all's face. Stay, stay suspicious. Bye-bye.